Welcome back to P1. Today we are looking at indefinite integrals. And this is unit 9.2. Now, later on in the course, you'll end up looking at definite integrals. Um, but first, it's about getting used to how the symbol's written and what it means. So, this is the symbol of an integration or an integral. And we are integrating a function to get a new function plus a constant. Okay, so just the same as the last video. It's just now about using the correct symbols. So when we're integrating, we're always using this symbol. So if I'm integrating x to the power n, then it's the same as before, we'd add one to the power, divide by that new power, and plus a constant. Okay, and remember, in all of these cases, n cannot be negative one. You will learn how to integrate um, those powers when n is negative one, um, but that is later on in the course. Now, let's have a look at a few examples. So, find integral of this. So what that means is I need to integrate this, okay? The dx, that is just essentially telling you what you're integrating. It's with respect to x. So even if we had other letters in there, like an a or a b, that might be constant. It's only the x that is being integrated, those terms. Okay, the any other letters in there would be treated just the same as a number. Second thing to take note of is that we have brackets here. Now, often in maths, we might be a little bit lazy, and sometimes we do leave these brackets off. But really, they should be on there every time. So I just go ahead and integrate each term individually as I did before. So take the first term, x to the power one third. I'm gonna add one to that power, so it becomes four thirds, and I'm gonna divide by that new power. So I'm dividing by four thirds. And then my second term, I'm gonna add one to the power. It's gonna become a power of four. Then I'm gonna divide by that power. Then I must remember my constant, so add c. Then I go ahead and simplify things, essentially sort out a little bit of this mess. So we get 3x to the 4 thirds over 4, plus my 4s will cancel, leaving me x to the power 4 plus c. And that is it. Now, another way you do sometimes see this, this is just for a little bit of additional information. You can also split this up into separate integrals or integrations like so okay and that is sometimes how you might see it written in some places and if you do this you obviously you'll end up with exactly the same answer okay and you will only get one constant, although you're thinking, well, I've got two integrals here. So would I have two constants? Well, they're constants. So even if you had two constants, you could combine them into a single constant since it is just an unknown number. So even if you had two separate numbers with this, they would combine into a single number of which we don't know. So it would still be just a single constant. Now, I'll do one more example, but it is pretty much the same as before, the same as the last video. I'm just going to add in a new term here. Sometimes I like to use the letter i to represent my integral. And the reason I sometimes use this, it's not really important here, but when you get into probably into next year, into year 13, P3 and P4, um, there will be problems where you will want to use I to show something at the start, 
so that then later on you don't have to rewrite this whole thing out you can then just put i equals so it's just a, a little bit i'm just introducing to you early just so you start to get a little bit of familiarity so let's go ahead and integrate so my first one 16x add 1 to the power divide by the new power 8x add 1 to the power divide by the new power 4x add 1 to the power divide by my new power plus c then go ahead and sort this out or simplify it so we get 4x to the power 4 plus 4x squared minus 8x to the half plus c and if you've been following me for a while you know that i do like to make sure my answer is written in the same style as the question so the power of half i'm going to put as a root x and that is then in the same style as the question okay if you did leave it in this form it would be perfectly correct but as i've said in numerous other videos i do think it is in keeping with the question a better way of writing your answer you know following what the question has shown you now let's give you a few to try yourself not too many as there's not a lot of difference to the previous video 